Righto, Teleoto Champs. Now, if you know my channel, you know the Creator laptop is my favourite. I'm always recommended MacBook Pros, um, XPS line. They're my sort of favourite laptops. They're right in my wheelhouse. And that's because, you know, I've got a gaming desktop. So, you know, gaming isn't the number one priority when I buy a laptop. But it is great that it can game. Now, this laptop here is a new Creator laptop. And it is just going to blow you away what this does compared to, say, the XPS 15 and 17. And I'll also tell you the advantages of this over, say, a MacBook Pro. This is indeed the Gigabyte Aero 16. There is a 14-inch version. Um, I've made a video about that. Go check that out. But this thing, in terms of thin, premium creator laptops, especially in the Windows world, is just, yeah, it is top. It has a 4K OLED display. It gets up to about 650 nits. I've measured it. Cracking display. The latest 13th gen Intel CPUs, the H parts, okay, so it's not the HX. H parts go in these thin and premium laptops. Now, you may be thinking, oh, I can get an XPS 15 or XPS 17 with the same sort of components. However, let me tell you something. This laptop here has a 240 watt power brick. Now that's compared to say a MacBook Pro 16 would be 130 watt package and XPS 17 and 15 are 130 watt package. So this is 240 watts this has, this power. So what the hell does that mean? That means that this graphics card is 115 watts. So although you can get the same specs with the XPS 15 and 17, believe you me, there is a world of difference, okay? 115 watts just on the GPU. This can do more watts on the GPU than the XPS 15 or 17 can do in total, right? So if we talk about the CPU and GPU together on the XPS 17 or the XPS 15, this can do more wattage just on the GPU alone. But that's not the mind-blowing thing. This is the mind-blowing thing. If you total the XPS 15 and the XPS 17, how much watts it can pump out, so that's CPU and GPU together, if you total them together, this one does about the same as those together, okay? That is mind-blowing. This laptop here, the same amount of watts as the XPS 15 and 17 in total, right? So, you know, it's just going to blow those laptops away in terms of power. And you get one of the best color accurate displays capable of HDR. Yeah, it is an amazing laptop here. And, you know, the displays are as good as the XPS 15 and 17, which they do have good displays. And I still recommend those, but if you want power, this has much more power, right? So in terms of thin premium creator laptops in the Windows world, this is right up there. The only other ones that really can compete with this are sort of gaming ones, right? But they're not like this. They don't look like sexy like the MacBook Pros and the XPSs and stuff like that. This one does, right? It is premium. You know, this is a smaller version, but yeah, they are sexy premium MacBook Pro XPS quality sort of build there. They have like much better power and that translates to gaming too right so let's talk about the advantages of this over a macbook pro well first and foremost obviously gaming this is going to be much better for gaming than a macbook pro 16 or 14 obviously because it runs windows natively no faffing about no tools nothing like that play AAA titles and you've seen here this playing god of war i can play it at 4k at this resolution now it is 60 hertz this display this is 120 hertz i actually locked the display on my mac to 60 hertz because there's no point having 120 hertz if your screen is slow and this is like a ghosty display you get on the mac so i don't see the point of having 120 hertz it makes me drunk when i you know move things around like you know this that's just ghosty right this even though it's 60 hertz It's not ghosty. Everything stays sharp. So for gaming, just no contest. Now, when it comes to the displays as well, we're talking OLED versus mini LED. Now, the Mac display is awesome for displaying HDR content. Nothing competes with the MacBook Pro in terms of displaying HDR content. It just looks amazing. There are some mini LED 1000 nit, you know, peak brightness panels out there in the Windows world, but this is 1600 nits. This is well. Wow. 90% of the time, you're not looking at HDR content. So if you're just talking about normal use, 90% of the time, this is a better display it's not as ghosty as that has the contrast it's oled it's crisp it's 4k high resolution the color accuracy is out of this world delta e of less than one you know so the color accuracy is just as good as the max the best in the windows world 90 percent of the time this display is going to be better than the max then of course there's optimizations using NVIDIA. If you use NVIDIA stuff, you know, CUDA, stuff like that in content creation, 
this is going to be your go-to laptop. Even like Cinebench, the Cinebench on these is higher than, say, for example, the MacBook M2 Pro. It's like 17,000 Cinebench. So it is a bit faster on CPU and GPU than the Mac, but the Macs have optimization. So anything that's optimized for the Mac is really fast. But outside of optimizations, this will be faster. And anything that's optimized for, you know, NVENC and CUDA and QuickSync, these things are going to be killer fast as well. So depends what you do right if you do 3d stuff no choice right even video editing da vinci it loves in video cards right and even like blender loves in video cards now in terms of battery life you're going to get maybe six seven hours battery life with this it doesn't compare to the max in terms of battery life it is the same sort of battery life you're going to get on the xps 17 and 15 right so this is as good as those laptops in terms of battery life and yeah that's intel's fault because intel you know they're not the most power efficient chips out there I mean, you don't miss out on anything with these things. You got the gaming, you got a 16 by 10 display, same as the Macs there. And of course, you know, OLED is just OLED, right? You, when you see OLED displays and then you go back to even this, I can see the contrast difference. Uh, it's just, yeah, the contrast difference is right there. You can easily see the contrast difference between the two. But again, HDR content, wow, that gets super bright, the Mac. When it comes to creator laptops, put this right up top of your list there. You've got to work out what you need. Do you need the CUDA? Do you need the Intel for the Mac? Are the optimizations of the Mac going to help you out there? But in terms of Windows creator laptops the only ones that can compete with this are you know sort of gaming laptops and gaming laptops i don't really like them to be honest in terms of like what i would like to use for a content creation machine they're great for gaming and actually they are great for content creation but they just don't look nice to me gaming laptops i want a nice premium sort of macbook pro looking sort of device and the xps and macbook pro have been like those sort of laptops that i really like just because of their design and this one looks just as good as those but much more powerful than the xps 15 and 17 so yeah and it's got all the ports you want you know it's got the thunderbolt it has a mini sd card reader Oh, I wish it was a full-size SD card reader, but, you know, it's even got, you know, HDMI, USB, Type-A, everything you want in terms of ports there, and it's upgradable too, so that's another advantage over the Mac there. So, yeah, Creator, done right. Uh, XPS, it's just on another level in terms of performance over the XPS. So, yeah, uh, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally-ho.